So hello guys, in this video I'll show you how to install Fortnite on your phone even though if you are not in EU server, alright? So first of all, I have made a bunch of video of how to install Fortnite but lots of people were asking how do I get eSign on, on your phone. So basically follow the step by step tutorial, alright? In this video I'll show you full guide. First I will show you how to install Fortnite on your phone. So and then I'm going to show you how to install the eSign app. So make sure to watch this video till the end. First of all, we need to head up to Google and search for Fortnite IPA file. Click on the first link. This is the official link. All you need to do is scroll down a bit and then you'll see Fortnite IPA file. Click on it and now it will interface like this. Click on the download and download and download the fortnite ipa file on your phone and we just have to wait a couple seconds here now once the fortnite has been downloaded successfully all we need to do is go to the house eSign app and now we need to import the fortnite here that we recently have downloaded once you have done that so it will basically gonna load up just like so now we need to click on the apps and then click on signature and signature again and what it does it will basically gonna install the fortnite on your phone i have already done so as you guys can see i have fortnite and it's launching successfully and i can play the game now let's see how to install eSign on your phone step by step First of all, we need to head up to this website and of course you will find the link under the description below, right? Now you need to follow the step-by-step -step tutorial. First of all, once you're here, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. Here is the link for the eSign. In my case, for now it's working the link too for me. I don't know about you, just try it, everything that you have. First, we need to, I'm just going to click on the second link, all right? All right, once I have clicked on the second link, it will basically gonna appear like this. Now, what we have to do is first of all, click on the first section, which is said, call the DNS, click on it. Now, just wait a couple seconds here. All we need to do is install the DNS. Why do we need DNS? Just click on allow, okay? You just need to, it's because to, most of the time what it does, it, it will get blacklisted, all right? What DNS provide us to do not detect any kind of problem, all right? Once you have installed it, all you need to do is head up to your general and scroll down till you find VPN and device management. Here you'll see the, the new DNS. Click on the install and install just like so. Once you have done that so, all you need to do is we need to head up to the same website again, all right? Just like this. Once you have it, once you come up here, scroll down until you find the eSign section. Here is here is a bunch of eSign that you can install. For right now, I'm going to be trying the first one. If that matter doesn't work, I'll try the second one. And one of these will definitely going to work. I'll show you, all right? Once you click on it, it will tell you to, uh, just like that, in my screen click on open and now it will let you install click on install now we just have to wait here as you guys can see eSign has been start to download it and now what we have to do is click on it it will do sometime like this once you click on it you will be access to eSign app all right just like so but if you get the option that it show that in order to open the eSign you need to verify or something we need to head up to our setting back to the setting and now we need to have click on the general and this time we need to go to the same vpn and device management here you can see a new dns kind of dns folder is here all you need to do is click on it and here it will tell you to install the e-sign click on it and reset your phone i have already done because as soon as i click on reset to install the eSign, it will not screen record it. That's why I did it before, all right? Just click on it, and once you have done that, so it will let you open the eSign app. 
Now, in order to install the IPF files, we need to install certificate. So, in order to get the certificate, we need to head up to our website again, back to the same website that I give you earlier. All right. Now, we need to click on e sign certificate. Now, just like so, click on it and download on your phone. Here we go. Once you have downloaded, head up to your eSign app and now we need to click on the top right corner those three dot and now we need to click on the import and from here you need to open the recently you have downloaded the certificate all right now from here click on it and unzip it once you have unzip it it will interface a new folder click on it now we need to select any of those doesn't matter click on the first one and click on import certificate management now it will successfully let you install anything you like doesn't matter i hope this video helps you guide out and if you guys need any kind of help ask me on the comment section below i'll try to help you guys out and i'm providing you so much helpful video please hit that like button guys and i'll catch you in the next one